They're, they're okay, we're going to talk on, about the induction system now. They're hit and miss on your pots and pans. As long, so it depends how sensitive the induction oven is itself. Okay. Some of them, if you have a pan with a flat metal surface, uh -huh. it'll activate them. Okay. Sometimes they won't on some of them. Okay. It's, just, it's hit and miss. Say? But they do sell special induction pans. A lot of people. So you turn it on, but it won't come on until the pan is actually yep. sitting there. Yep. And then when you take it off, it Shuts immediately off. goes off, yep. right? It's still hot too. There's people that say. Oh, okay. People that say, "Oh, it's not hot after it goes off." No, it's still hot. Well, this would, this would retain some heat until it has time to yep. cool off, right? Because this is glass, right? Yep. Well, it's it, a just, tempered it, glass. it just retains heat around here. Okay. It will not fluctuate heat back out to here. Okay. But yep. One button. Oh, it's 110. I don't know what that means. Um, so what whatever y'all are doing, wire, you've got it port. unplugged. Okay. Yep, because we don't have the, it's the unit's not plugged in. So here I turned on. This is up and down. Is it going to show me there the yep. amount? It's going to show you there. You can turn your timer on, set your heat, temp. So what does this do that's different than this? These are your settings and these are your adjustments to these settings. Oh, 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 okay, yep. okay. Then if you have children running around or something, you can come up, hold both of these buttons at the same time, it. and it'll lock it so they can't do anything until you hold them buttons for, I believe it's 10 or 15 seconds. Got it, I like that a lot. And, and then this I have one just like, or not just like. Get the car seats in place, you're gonna have to move the table up. Okay, and it will hopefully lock in position somehow. And, uh, or you can set it down too. Because you'll move, to make it into a bed, you would move your cushions and it'll lay down and then you put your cushions back over top of it. Right. Okay, but driving down the road. If you had two little car seats here, where does the table go? I don't think it goes anywhere. It would depend on how far out they come out, right? Yeah. Could this not be there? Yeah, you take that out. Okay, here you go. This gives us more room. So possibly the car seat would sit there. Yeah. Or, worst comes to worst, you'll take... These bags, too. We call them your, what was it, Co Coach Bibles? Right, oh, we yeah. need, it's we got need. All your information in them for everything that's in here. Okay, we need that. Um, something else you could also do is. All right. And there is more storage underneath here. Oh, okay. How but, do you access it? Have to this it one's this screen. one's screwed, so it must have power stuff in it. Okay. This one. Okay, there pops we go. Up. Just a little up. Bit. Okay. Yep. So the another thing you can do if you have kids coming, go like this. Lay your cushions seat, them cushions back down. Like in this place. Yep. And then put the uh, seats there. And then put the seats in. So they got legroom. Yep. Okay, that would probably be the way to travel. Yes. Eli, Esther Rose. Right, and they can look out. Yep. Sam, Sam. I. Well, I don't know that anyone. Well, I guess you could seat Bel yeah, Buckle Amanda here. Yeah, Sam could yeah. sit probably just in a regular seat, but he might be more comfortable here. I could sit there, and his feet his, wouldn't be dangling off. His feet would be straight up. Uh, yep. Okay. He'd right. Just be relaxing the whole time. I Fireplace. Yep. What's the name of that remote again? Furion. Furion. Very on, it. okay. Yep, and it says it down there too. All right, we may put some even more s stickers on these, Becky. Mm, we'll see. But it doesn't. Label makers. Of course, it's not working right now because it's right. power's cut. Behind here. Oh, I thought it was a knob. No, it's like a volume. Oh. You got a little more storage and stuff back here. A couple outlets in there. It's got a matrix in it. So, I'll come over and video this. So how this works is you can put a DVD player in here. 
and all your TVs are tied into this one box. Okay. So you can click, there'll be... Even to the one outside? Yep. Okay. okay. So there'll be a little orange light that'll illuminate at one, two, three, and four. And then there'll be a green light on either DV, DVD, satellite one, satellite two, or aux. Okay. So say you're sitting in here, you want to watch satellite and TV in here. This one would be your main TV. You would set to satellite and say she's in there, but she wants to watch off the DVD player. So in the bedroom, you just switch it over to DVD player. If you... Are you pushing something? Yeah, there's a little black oh, button. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, I didn't see the button. Yep. Okay. If you are watching a movie in there, he wants to watch it out here, hang out in the living room. He, he can push it. Yeah, there's a remote for it up front, though, that we have. But, yep, and then you can just switch it, and he can watch the same exact.